Hi guys, welcome back to my new video. Today I'm going to be dyeing my hair. Well, actually bleaching and dyeing my hair. Uh, simply because I'm getting tired of my hair. I get tired of my hair very, very easily. Um, to explain a little bit the context of why I'm dyeing my hair, I'm going to include a little clip I filmed yesterday. So basically, some of you guys might know, some of you guys might not know, I have a roleplay Twitter. Uh, it's kind of weird-ish. Well, I mean, yeah, technically I do roleplay. Um, it's I created it when uh, the Dora, Do, Dora, when the Dora AU was really really popular. I tweeted um, a tweet saying that for 15 likes, this is nothing. Like I'm gonna get it for sure because my followers are crazy. <laughs> so I said that for 15 likes, I would well ask Jin Young to dye my hair a certain color, but I would obviously do it myself because I do not know Jin. Like, Jin, hit me up if you want to dye my hair, please. <laughs> that would be amazing. It's that picture. Boop. And that one. <laughs> uh, because I, ever since I saw those pictures, when it first came out, I was in awe in how beautiful he looked. And I was like, yo, this is supposed to be a mistake, but I want this in my hair. So I was planning on doing this anyways uh, as a future hair color. But since I'm starting school very soon now, and I'm getting tired of my hair again, as you guys know, I get tired of my hair very easily. It's right now, it's it's supposed to be black and blue, but I haven't dyed them in so long. My roots are really long and it's kind of like, it looks black on camera, but in real life, it's actually my normal hair color, brown-ish. Uh, and this is just, gray green now it's like it's not no it's no it's pretty cool actually like it's not horrible but i'm just tired so now i want to do my hair purple with the roots peach pinkish just like jen did so that's that's like the context of why i'm doing this and filming it uh you'll excuse me for the terrible um quality of the video i'm well filming with a new camera that i'm not used to so i'm still trying to get used with the well settings and everything <laughs> and there was like close to like no natural lighting yesterday so it was quite hard to try and get some good footage so i'm really 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 honestly sorry for the bad quality of the video um so i got my 15 likes for the tweet actually i think i'm at 33 likes now so I, I knew, I, honestly, I knew I was going to get it. People really want me to do it, so I will do it. So, yes. Uh, for starter, today I'm only going to be bleaching my hair for one simple reason. Um, since I don't have anything planned tomorrow or in the next day after or anytime actually before school starts, um, I would rather wait a little bit and let my hair... Uh, get more natural oils before dyeing them it's actually gonna help the dye stick to my hair um that, that's also why right now my hair is quite dirty <laughs> you guys can't maybe can't really see it but i can feel it i haven't washed my hair in three days i think for a reason i'm not just dirty <laughs> uh the natural oil is actually going to protect my scalp as well as the hair from really like dying under the bleach <laughs> So that's also why I'm going to be waiting until tomorrow to be dyeing my hair. I don't know if I have to explain this to anyone, probably. It's not really a tutorial, I'm just bringing you guys with me. But basically I'm going to be using 20 volume as well as this beautiful powder to bleach my hair. I'm also explaining now because um, I don't know why. But normally after bleaching I would try and tone my hair to remove all the yellow undertone. But since the roots uh, of the hair color I want to do is actually kind of orangey it's kind of peachy pink i'm actually gonna just let it uh, also because i'm lazy <laughs> and also because it's really really expensive i'm gonna go into a speed watch speed time speed i'm gonna speed that up because <laughs> i don't think you guys want to watch a 45 minutes video of me applying bleach on my hair <laughs> so i have the bleach ready whoop um, I'm going to be starting right over, but I'm also going to be probably looking at the mirror here so I don't fuck up and put some all over the place. Um, if I don't, I'm probably going to be looking at the screen and not the actual camera because 
as I said, uh, I'm not professional and I don't know how to bleach my hair without looking at my hair. So hopefully you guys still get a pretty okay angle. Anyways, I'll be starting right over. You guys are going to be seeing me again once all my head is covered by bleach. So let us go. <laughs> One last thing. I do not use gloves when I dye or bleach my hair. Uh, I am not telling you guys to do this. Don't do this. Use gloves. Be careful, but I'm not careful. I don't really care if I'm careful or not. So just uh, be careful. Use gloves. Yeah, because that can burn. Okay guys, so I'm oh, I'm done applying the bleach on my head. As you can see, my roots are already pretty bleached. Not enough, but still pretty bleached. There is a scientific reason for that. I feel really smart. <laughs> it's simply because my scalp is warmer than the rest of my hair. So it activates the bleach faster. So I will find you guys again once I'm done rinsing my hair. Hi, it's now the next morning and as you guys can see uh, the color did not lift very well while I was bleaching them yesterday I could see that it was clearly not lifting as much color as I need to so I decided either I'm gonna keep it like keep the bleach way longer on my hair thus probably damaging them a lot or I could just wait a day and bleach them a second time <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do Exactly like yesterday, I'm gonna have to put the bleach first on this side and then on this side And I think I'm gonna have to wait maybe 20 minutes, I think I'm not gonna go through the process. I'm gonna go very 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 quick And I'm gonna see you again once my hair is dried well rinsed dried and hopefully bleached <laughs> So should I do like a weird transition like jumping or something? Hold on Hi uh, it's actually been two days now since I last filmed um, I wasn't going to mention anything, but I feel like I should uh, I shouldn't hide my mistakes <laughs> um, It's not it's not a big mistake, but uh, basically I got too excited and I forgot a whole patch in the back So I forgot to bleach a whole part of my hair. So I had my mom help me Well, actually I had my mom's help me both of them help me um they didn't want to be filmed. I'm sorry, that's my cat. Um, they didn't want to be filmed, which is understandable, so I didn't film any of that. But uh, basically, now I have my back bleached. Normally, everything is bleached. Um, honestly, it could go for more, more bleach on this side, but I don't want to damage my hair more, and I don't want to spend more time on my hair, honestly. It's already been like three days since I'm doing this. And the color I'm using, should be dark enough to cover it, I hope. But we cannot hide the fact that there's probably gonna be a color different on both sides of my head. That's just something I have to live with. <laughs> Until I find a way to make both sides the same color. So for the color, we'll put a picture here or here, <laughs> here. I'll put a picture here of uh, the picture, well, the hair color I want to recreate. So it's uh, gin, like I already said. Uh, and the color is not as blue as this and it's not as intense as that either. Uh, and the pink at the roots are not, well, it's actually not really pink pink. It's more like lilac, kind of peachy pink. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but anyways, I'll be doing some mixes with those two colors as well as some conditioner and uh, I'll just I'll, I'll see what I get honestly guys um, I'm not putting pressure on myself like I I couldn't care less about my hair if it fucks up I can always cover it up with some black dye that's how I see life hopefully my roots are pale enough to show the pink I think it is 
So follow me while I do that. Okay guys, so the dye is applied everywhere, I think, I hope. Um, it looks promising, it looks kind of good, I think. Honestly, I'm not putting too much pressure on myself. I have some dye on my forehead, this is so sad. Um, so I'm going to be uh, waiting a while, a good, good while. So I'm gonna be waiting a good hour, maybe hour and a half, <laughs> if I have the courage to do so. And I will find you guys at the end when I rinsed my hair and dried them. So, well, this is disappointing. I have tons of problems with my hair right now, but the lighting is really bad because we're inside and there's no window. So I'm going to bring you guys with me to a window to see some more accurate lighting, let's say. Okay, fellas, lesbians and non-lesbians, and everyone, I don't really mind. Uh, as you can see, this is not what I wanted, but I, I can make it work. Just hear me out, okay? So first thing that I've noticed is that, like I said, the blue is way more shiny, not shiny, the blue is way more blue on this side because this, this side was already bleached like, way before. So to even it out, I think I'm going to do a one more blue here, I think. And the pink just really like did not stick at all, like at all. There's little to no pink in my hair right now. It's mostly bleached like strands of hair. So this is really disappointing. I don't care. It's messed up, but we're going to do it what we have. And now I'm going to go try and put some more pink in this. I'm not going to film it because you guys already saw that like 3000 times with me at this point. So this is not focused. I'll see you guys after this step. Hopefully, hopefully it's better. 